Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to cover the second step of LASIK which is changing the shape of the cornea. If you look back to the last episode of A State of Sight we covered the first step which is creating the flap. So then once we uh, move on to the second step we go to a different bed to a different laser. We use the Vizex Star S4 IR laser. Uh, these lasers in general are called eczema lasers. And from the patient's experience, what they notice first is again, we use a safety device to help keep the eyelids open. And then we lift up the flap in the front of the cornea that has been created. Uh, it is a flap that's a partial thickness of the cornea. Uh, we lift it up and the hinge is at the top. Then we use the laser to change the shape of the cornea. Uh, with this, there's a target light for the patients to look at to help keep their eyes steady, but also the, eye, the laser is tracking their eye before every single pulse to make sure it's in the right position. If it's not, then the laser stops, which is a safety feature. For most patients, the laser treatment lasts less than 30 seconds. Then we finish the procedure and smooth the flap back down to make sure there's nothing underneath the flap and that it's in a great position. With this, the patients may feel a couple drops on their eyes, and we just ask them to keep looking straight ahead. Uh, we treat the right eye first, and then we move to the left eye. On the technical side, the way the laser actually works is that with every single pulse of the laser that comes onto the cornea, it removes a very small amount of tissue. And using uh, precise calculations from engineers that are much smarter than I am, they have been able to determine exactly how the laser can run and treat on the surface in order to include the power that the patient needs for glasses or contact lenses onto the eye. For people who are nearsighted, what it actually does is it flattens the cornea just a little bit to make it a little bit less steep. So most of the pulses are more towards the center and then out towards the edges there's less and less pulses where less tissue is removed. This laser is a cool laser. It doesn't generate uh, heat that the patients can feel, and, but they can hear the sound of the laser because it makes noise when it's running. So if you have any other questions about LASIK, either this step or the one before, or anything in general, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.